Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 10 e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about remove product from wishlist. So let's see how can we remove product from the wishlist. So first of all, uh, go to the wishlist controller and for removing the product from the wishlist, uh, let's create a function here. So write here public function and function name. Uh, let's say function name is remove product from this list okay and also pass in the request so right here request dollar request and inside this uh, let's extract the row id so right here row row id is equal to dollar request arrow row id and now cart colon colon instance and instance name which is this list and call here the remove method so right here remove and inside this remove method just pass row id Okay, and now return to redirect and pass here the route route name which is this list dot list and create one more function for uh, clear the wish list so right here public function and function name which is clear wish list and inside this just write here the part colon colon instance instance name which is wish list and call here the method destroy okay and now return to the uh, this list this route okay so just copy this line and paste here okay now let's create the route for these two methods so go to the web.php file and here let's create two routes so right here route colon colon method name which is delete and pass here the URI this list slash remove okay then controller name this list controller colon colon class and then add there the function name which is let's copy the function name remove product from this list okay so copy and paste here and now just give the route name this list dot remove okay now let's copy this route and paste here change the uri to this list clear and also change the function name so let's copy this one and paste here and now change here the route name this list dot clear okay now save this file and now go to the wishlist.blade.php file and inside this file let's add here two form okay so first add the form here form id is equal to delete from this list okay and action is equal to route and let's copy this route name this list dot remove
okay and method post and now just close this form and here add the csrf at the date csrf and also add the method delete okay and now create one hidden field input type is equal to hidden and id is equal to row id row row id okay and uh, name is equal to row id and now let's create one more uh, form here so id is form id is equal to clear this list and action route this list dot clear okay and method post and inside this form just add here the csrf and method directive okay csr at the rate csrf and at the rate method and method name delete okay and now add the post directive so write your post and name the scripts and inside this just add here the script tag and close this script tag and here let's create two javascript function so first add here the function and function name remove from this list and pass here the one parameter row id okay and let's copy this id and uh, assign the, this value to this hidden field so right here dollar this id dot val and just pass here the row id okay then submit this form so copy this id and write here dollar this id dot submit method and now create one more function here function and function name clear this list and inside this just copy this form id and write here dollar as this one clear this list dot submit okay now let's uh, copy this function name and uh, call from here this close button so in for each here is the close button okay so inside this just add here on click event on click in this function name and inside this function just pass here the row id so right here double curly bracket and dollar item arrow row id this one okay and now let's call this clear this list function so for that let's copy this function name and uh, uh, before this else just add here row dot md12 and create a link here anchor tag href javascript void okay and then add here the on click and just call this function clear this list 
and add the text clear all items okay and inside this uh, div just add here the class text int now save this file now let's check this so switch to the browser and refresh the page okay now let's remove the product from the rest list so just click on this icon and you can see product has been removed and here uh, item count 7 now next uh, just remove this one product removed up and here is this count 6 okay now let's check this one clear all items so just click on this site like link and you can see here all items are removed from this list okay and if I click on this this is the sub page now add to this list added now click on this icon and here is the list listed products okay so in this way you can remove product from this list so that's all about remove product from this list don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching